Well, hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to D Double Dizzle <laughs> Dreaming with Drifters. I hope everybody has had a wonderful day today. <laughs> my mom, my mom, and my stepdad thought that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, guess where we're at today? Look at this amazing view. Look at that stage right there. If you guessed we're at Blue Mountain Lake, you guessed right. I wanted to give you guys an update and let you know we are one month away from the Arkansas River Valley River Valley Homesteaders Meetup. Yeah. And we're having it right here at Blue Mountain Lake. Man, it's amazing. I wanted to give you guys, if you haven't seen any of the videos before, I'm going to run you through just a little bit of an update. What it looks like here, where the events are going to be taking place, just to give you a little bit better idea of what everything's going to look like. So what you're looking at right here is actually my sister Harley and my brother Caleb. They will not be here for the meetup, unfortunately, neither will my mom or my dad. But what you're looking at here is the amphitheater area. And this is a stage right here. And on this stage, we got a backdrop of unbelievable beauty. Man, absolutely fantastic backdrop. But this stage right here is where we will be having the speakers. Don't forget that the meetup is a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be February 17th, 18th, and 19th. But Lissa, oh, I said February. I feel special. I'm sorry. May 17th, 18th, and 19th. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> but what is the most important day of the meetup? The most important day of the meetup? Do you know? Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> On Saturday, there will be speakers there will be six guest speakers here all from the youtube community and we're each going to be talking about different things and we're going to be doing it right here from this stage and that's going to be starting at 9 30. and uh friday there will be a meet and greet we will be having some bre uh some i'm sorry some dinner what is that noise oh it's the garbage okay um sorry i was like what is that noise i didn't think a big truck would be coming up here uh friday we will be having a meet and greet from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. We're gonna be having dinner at 6 p.m. And we're gonna be able to have a little bit better, more in-depth conversation with you guys. If you wanna meet and hang out, catch your favorite YouTubers. But on Saturday, this will be the place where the guest speakers come, presentations, things like that. Also, in this little area over here, where Lissa is, <laughs> she is in the area. That area will be where you will uh, have a chance to buy these tickets that are going to be available and for sale uh, for you to be able to win a chance on a raffle, some really awesome prizes uh, such as e-bikes, portable power banks with solar panels, uh, pew pew, timer two, little things like that. There are going to be other things, uh, but those are kind of the main items. As far as... You can also... Mm -hmm. You can also put a pie in Michael's face. You can. Okay. There are going to be cool events going you on Saturday. Put a pie in my face. Yep. You can also dunk less in a dunk you tank. Uh, we'll have a dunk tank well, where you'll be able to dunk your favorite YouTuber. That's going to be a thing. Um, and all the uh, so many more festivities. I'm going to walk you guys over to where those things are going to be happening. And also on Saturday, while some of the demonstrations are going on, there's going to be other activities for kids, um, such as like face painting, musical chairs, limbo. Uh, we're going to have a wall with balloons that you can throw darts at and win some prizes. And, you know, just to name a few, there are going to be some more things there as well. Uh, but I'm going to walk you up here and show you what the area looks like, where the main pavilion is, what it looks like, how big it is, and where we're going to be doing that good cooking. We'll be right back. And right here is the pavilion. This is the only large pavilion out here. You're not going to be able to miss it, guys. It is right here. And it's not far away from the amphitheater. You can see the amphitheater right there where my brother is. And the walk is very, very close. And this is the main pavilion. It's pretty large. Looks like it has one, two, three, four times two. So eight, what looks to be like a, I don't know, 40 foot of picnic table on each side. That's pretty big. There's lots of room up here. It's all concrete. We are gonna have dumpsters and trash cans available and stuff like that. There's even a playground for kids right over there. And that's pretty cool. They got swings and a little tunnel. 
This is the main cooking uh, barbecue pit right here. Where some of them good groceries are going to be cooked right here. And then we do have parking also in this front area. But this parking up here is going to be reserved for people that are coming up here and doing presentations and whatnot. Man, they're loud. I'm going to walk you over here now and show you what the bathhouses look like. Because on the last video we came and showed you guys, this part of the park wasn't even open yet. So I wasn't able to show you what the inside of the bathrooms look like, what the shower houses look like. I want to give you an update and show you what everything is working with. This is a good idea too. You can get reference to how far away the, the closest RV sites are going to be right here. And I'll back up a little bit and you can see the bath house right here that my dad's coming out of. And it's not far. And we'll turn it and you can see right across the parking lot right there. Dang, that truck's loud. That truck is loud. Anyway, just a short trip across the parking lot and a short walk away from the first RV sites. I'm obviously only going to go into the men's side. Uh, I did verify from Lissa that the women's side looks pretty much identical. Let's make sure there's no one else in here. Anybody in here? <laughs> All right, this is what the men's restroom looks like. Got a couple sinks, got one urinal out of order. We got two stalls over here. And it's a pretty big size bathhouse. It looks like these are the shower stalls down here. Got a couple showers. So that's what it looks like in the bathhouse. It looks just like you would expect it to look couple of crappers a couple of places to take a shower and that's about it but i hope you guys look hope you look take a look it's beautiful we are going to take you uh, on down to the swimming area and also the area where you guys will be able to fish a little bit more we'll show you the boat ramps if you do plan on bringing a boat or a kayak or a canoe there are several boat ramps down here as well um just to give you an idea, also um, after uh, Saturday on Sunday, we will be having a breakfast up here at the Pavilion area as well, 8 a.m. on Sunday, and then we'll be dispersing from there after we clean up. Uh, but we will also be having a fishing tournament on Saturday. It'll be $25 to enter the fishing tournament for adults. It'll be $0 to enter for children, and that's going to be 18 years old. That's the mark we're going to cut it. 18 and over, 25 bucks. However, you do get a chance to win a fishing kayak. First place is going to be a fishing kayak. Second place winner is going to have a new rod and reel. Third place is going to be a $25 gift card. And for the youths, it's pretty much going to be the same thing except for youths. Uh, and then third place will be a $20 gift card. But for now, let's head on down there and I'm going to show you guys what the rest of it's looking like. All right, so I'm really glad I came down here to check it out because after a lot of rain in the area, check this out. Dun, dun, dun. Parking lot closed. But I'm glad to see this. I'm really glad to see this because this is the swimming area, the beachy area. And uh, I'm just going to come down here real quick and show you guys what it looks like down here. There's a lot more parking down here in the beachy area. And, uh, and I was really thinking about having the dunk tank and... The, the blow up uh, bounce house, if we're still able to get the bounce house, not sure yet if we're able to, but we were gonna set that up here. So I'm glad to know that this floods and we may not be able to set it up here. We'll have to find a different area to set up. But it is really beautiful around here. I'm not gonna spend too much time down here because the side of the uh, area is closed, this parking lot is closed. But it will be open when it's time for the meetup, so that's gonna be awesome. Simultaneously that I'm recording this video and giving you the tour, I'm also giving my parents and my family a tour to show them around the area tool so, uh, area as well. So two for one, I like that one. So we're gonna do a little spin a Rooney. I'll stop over there and show you guys where another one of the boat ramps are. We'll be right back. Woo wee! Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? 
We're on the dam. This is the dam. Just wanted to show y'all what this view was like. Absolutely amazing. It is a one way in, one way out. Man. This is the opposite side as the fishing, I mean uh, the swimming area, the beachy area. Directly across. We got a guy down there fishing. And we got the workers over there. Even better view up there. I wonder what that is. Let's go up there and check it out and find out what that is because that is going to lead us in the other camping spots. Uh, and that's what I was saying before about all the campsites being taken for Friday night. There are no more campsites available for the main area on Friday night and most of the Saturday night is also checked out. However, over here in the outlet area, there are plenty of uh, spots available for Friday night and Saturday night. And don't forget, uh, don't forget our friend Wiley, with working with Wiley, will be uh, doing a shuttle service, carrying three times uh, on Saturday, once for breakfast, or uh, I believe for breakfast, and then once again at around lunchtime, and then once again for dinner, so you don't have to make that one mile trip across. I'm gonna go down there and show you what it looks like down at the outlet area. You can also camp there on uh, the website. You'll go to camping uh, outlet, Waveland outlet area right there and you'll find that. We'll be right back. Check this out. I told you we were coming to the top. Mm. While you're here enjoying the meetup, don't forget to come up here to the observation area. Look at this, we're on top of the dam right here. Look, we were just sitting down there where you guys seen us, look at that. We were just down there. Whew, I stretched you out. But now we're overlooking everything. Absolutely beautiful. I was gonna ask them what they thought about it, but you can see what they thought about it. They busted out the phones. <laughs> Lisa, I don't think I ever get tired of seeing this view. Um, me neither. It is absolutely amazing. Whew. And you know what? Look at how the clouds are just covering Mount Magazine. Mount Magazine's right there in front of us, y'all. And you can't even see the top of it because of the clouds. There's a whole nother layer up there. But from here, we're going to go on down to the outlet area like I was telling you about. I'm going to show you what the outlet area looks like. There is a west bank and an east bank, I believe, or a, a left and a right. We're going to check it out in just a second. We'll be right back. I know I said we were coming to the outlet area, but this is on the way to the outlet area, right just down the road from that lookout area. Some other campsites. These are first come, first served, um, but these are primitive. There's no electric or water here. But look at their view. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that, huh? Looks like something was chewing on that. Yeah, it does look like something was eating it. Looks like a beaver, huh? They say beavers chop it down, or maybe somebody was chopping it down. Oh, I don't... Is that a bear? I, no, bears, bears don't do that. Man, look at this. Look at this. Now, this is a camping site right on top of the um oh yep look at that right on top of the little uh thing over there where they work at nice little fire pit that's actually fire ring fire pit this fire pit over here is for your grill you got a picnic table yeah it looks like they got a trail over here wonder where this trail goes to. It just goes to right here. Right here by this old rotten tree. Well, I'm going to sit right here for a second and enjoy my family and enjoy these views. On to the outlet area. Right back. Woo! Look at this. We were just here last weekend with my friend Wesley and his family. 
and the water was not moving like that. Look at the sign. Danger when siren sounds. Beware of rapid rise in water level. Woo! Look at that. Let's go over here and look and see what it looks like coming out. So this is the outlet area. And that's what it means. The outlet of the dam. It curves on around down and goes around and there are camping spots over here. And I believe each one of them have a little pavilion. That's right, Tim. Go Ridge Life. It is not pavilion. It is pavilion after all. But we're about to walk over here and show you what it looks like coming out this big hole. What's it look like? I don't know. There were some guys fishing here the other day. Danger, turbulent water, keep out. Woo, dang! Dang! Man. Oh yeah, that might be the thumbnail, guys. Whew. Had some water splash up on me. What'd you think of that, my queen? Hey, it's cool. <laughs> I was watching all the little birds fly. Right. Oh, do y'all see them? I don't know if y'all can see them. I think it's a giant like water fountain that they can play in. Y'all see the birds? Right. I can feel the water splashing up on me. Right. Yeah. They probably think, yeah, they think it's a game. The birds playing. That's so cool. All right, I am about to walk over here and I will show you what it looks like at an empty campsite, give you an idea how it looks, what the setup is. Do they have water? Do they have electric? I will let you know in just a few minutes. Well, a few minutes for me, split second for you. Dang, look, look. Wow, you can really feel the power of that water over there in your chest. I'm gonna walk over here and show you what the uh, bathhouse looks like on the inside. Over here at the outlet area. I've never uh, been in this bathhouse before, just like I've never been in the other one. I can only assume it looks the same, but let's go check it out. All right, so I did just make sure that there was nobody else in here, and this one does look a little different come on in and as soon as you get in there's a brick wall immediately to the right you have toilet sinks and then your stalls and then over here to the left you have the shower areas two more shower uh, stalls and these are a little bit smaller than the other side so a little bit smaller than the uh, main area the outlet bathrooms and showers all right, here smaller. We're gonna get over here to one of these empty campsites. There's not many campsites taken. Right here in the beginning, there are a few taken, but we can see there are lots of available uh, camping spots over here on this side. So we're gonna go over here, show you what they have. Is there water? Is there electric? I don't know. Let's go find out. All right, so we are right here. Outlet area, spot number 25. And all these areas right here are open and most of these areas are still available Friday and Saturday for the meetup. Let's give you a little spin of what it looks like right here. You can see where the water was coming out in correlation to the bathhouse over there. 
and it does tell you danger strong currents no swimming on the sign but it goes down there and does a double uh, a dead end it turns around and I knew I I do remember coming here uh, a couple of months ago but I don't remember what all they had so I'm showing you each side over here has a covered uh, pavilion a metal table a grill fire pit and it looks like it also has electric oh and look at there and apparently it has water on this side as well question is does it work oh well there's that water and electric here on the outlet area as well and it appears there's two parks there's a slide and a swing set over there and there's a little jungle gym slide uh, over here. I'm not gonna walk up on the park and check it out because like I said, I do got the family with me and we're doing a little tour, but. So you guys know, if you have kids or if you're just a big kid and wanna play on the playground in the jungle gym, they got some things for you. Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Quick recap, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday meet and greet, three to six, dinner at six, Saturday, big events, all starting at 8 a.m., breakfast starting off at 9.30 sharp. We're going to be doing three people back to back to back. We're going to be giving talks. We're going to be giving projects. Who knows what's going to be happening? Lunch break followed by more activities, more things. Who knows? Oh, man, so much is fun. Sunday, breakfast, balance. We'll catch you guys later. Keep on chasing them dreams. I got family here chasing theirs. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.